Today we're going to start off um, working back on the 63 Beetle, on the Father's Beetle. We're going to be taking out the front seat, uh, we're going to be removing the carpet, and then we're going to be running the back line all the way back here to the to the T. And if we got time, we'll put in the master cylinder and maybe bleed the brakes, see if they actually work this time. Here's hope. So we're taking off the seat. You can see, sort of, right there. There's your bar. It's riding on some rails. And in here, let me see if I can get a light in here. Let's see if I can get the torch on. Come on, torch. There we go. Oh, look at that. Um, you can see this lever. Get that out of the way. See how that lever engages it? If you pull away, it disengages. So toward it, it'll lock in away, it locks out. Um, I've already taken the spring off, but the spring I'm talking about is right there. Um, hooks on to your seat right there. Right there. Hooks on your seat right there. Since those things are on, you can now push that forward. And all you're going to do, super simple, you're going to push it that way, push it that way. <laughs> and uh, it should slide right off those rails. You're going to lift it up and pull it out. Um, I haven't tried this yet. With the older vehicles, uh, they can be a little tough. So a little edge, if it's really in there, um, get something from the back to push it while that's disengaged. You gotta make sure that's disengaged or it won't move at all for you. Um, yeah, so let's try it out. Ooh, you got a hammer on it. Give her a little, little nudge, a little hey. dungeon. Alright, and your seat's out. Um, very, very suggestive to take your seat out before you go after that uh, that brake line all the way to the rear, so it's just going to be a pain in, the, pain in the booty. Now you can see all this room. You can see that's your line right there. It's going to go under here or behind here. We're going to take this out as much as possible. Um, you got this that might deter me a little bit, but you can see how it rides here. It's a little cracked. Um, again, this isn't a show car. I'm just pulling it out. I'm going to replace it. Once we get that off, we'll be able to go through here. And you can see the brake line again coming right, right, right through there right there into the back um, so there's grommets here I do get new grommets just in case we do need them I don't know if you can see it yeah of course obviously I prepared for this video um, yeah so you can you can see the grommet right there oh you can see the little rust too um, yeah that's really hard so we'll see if we need to take that out or not that just saves it from rubbing while your car is vibrating or going fast down the road or whatever you're doing. Um, so just make sure that you replace them with something. I know some people use gas line uh, to go in between there and then they and then they do a little clampy clamp. Either way, as long as it works and it, it stops it from rubbing for from the uh, from the metal hit net, it doesn't matter how you do it. Um, just just be cautious and don't leave it don't leave it without something. Don't leave it bare, uh, or you're gonna have bad news bears down the road. All right, here we go. I'm gonna remove 
this area right here and get that done. And we got, we got a little safety first here. Look at this. Saved my life. Cotter pin, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's definitely going to need to come off. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I can do that one-handed, though. Oh, that wasn't too bad. One down. You know, a smart person would not be looking at the video and be looking at what the heck is actually going on. Oh, that was... That was easy. Do this all day. I'm going to save it. Boop. I'll forget where it is. Uh, okay, you can disengage now. Disengage. Oh, there we go. Nice. All done. To the side. All right. I thought I was going to need that. So, I yeah, broke that. That pulls. Back seat's been out. Um, that's it's pretty easy to take out. You pull the back first, pull it forward because it locks under these little rails, and then you just yank it out. Just be careful of the sides. You can nick it on something. You just have to be nice and nice and easy with it. Try not to hulk it out of there. Um, I may have to do the other side, but I think I'm just going to whip it over. Maybe I'll drop that. Man, that, that's, that wasn't good at all. That was both. That's not going to help. Um, so, uh, with the older stuff, if you're not planning on replacing it, again, you got to be really, really easy with it. It can, it can rip really easily. Why did you glue it in there? Right there, you can. Oh, pop! Nobody wants you. There we go. You see it? Oh, come on. You are so close. Look at that. Arr. Why do you hate me? Can we get out? Yeah. And you can see. You need the whole thing here flipped up. You can see the rail right there. There's your line. All the way across. It's got those things on them you're gonna have to break that I think they're just little tar pieces really bad ones will be rusted in there so just be careful and, and take your time um, this doesn't have to be a speedy thing and brake lines are pretty are pretty rough um, it'll get a little bit easier once it's out and ready to go just want to show you, show you guys along with that um, the tar that was there you can see it right there um, you can get these little tabs as well Find the right side of the tab, and then, uh, then pull it out. Why do you hate me? There you go. Um, depending on your line, you can find the right side of the tab, but you can pop those up a little bit, just like just like that. Look at that. See, comes right out. All right. One moment, please. Just wanted to show you the tabs. Make sure you keep them intact. Um, you definitely want to keep that solidified right there, so it's not vibrating a lot. So I just kind of rigged it there to sit there, and now um, I'm going to work on it. So it's already broken, so I think I'm going to do, I'm going to snap it somewhere in here, and then pull it through. Where's my light? This lighting guy is, he's the worst. You can see it coming out. Right there. Um... Stuff in movie, you can see I can pull on it. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, gonna snippy snippy and uh, just pull it out. This one uh, is a lot harder because you need to go through those areas right there and right there all at the same time. You gotta go through them, um, and you can't just. <laughs> you gotta do the bending while you're while you're in there with it. Let's see if we can see where it tees right out. Can you see it? I can't point to it. I only have so many hands. Uh, two to be exact. Uh, there it is right there. It's pretty rusted. That's where it's going to sit. Um, see that one was pretty bad apparently. That was already replaced. Um, you can see that one going right to there. Oh. 
does a little hop. Let's do our other one. So, yeah, I'm not going to say very good either. Realistically, <laughs> if I had all the time in the world, I'd just take that one out too and just replace them all, but I'm not going to. Again, not a show car. You do it when it breaks. Um, but it's a lot of, a lot of bending on the fly. Yeah, you can see it coming through. Still got a little angry at it and thought I could pull it out. I could not. I took out some grommets. Uh, oh, we gas line. You're not the star. Uh, here's your, here it is right here. I cut a, cut a roost eat it. That's dirty down there. Look at that. Ugh. Oh yeah, just pour some fluid on it, you moron. Ooh, there's lots of fluid in that. Um, so now we got a nice little hole right there. Look at that. Nice little hole right there. That's where that's going to go. Oh, the ground still on there, which is nice. Um, let's pull it out. Alright. There. You can see where I cut it. Where I cut it right there. Right there. Um, yeah, I'm not very excited to um Yeah, I'm not very excited about this. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it right there. Um, I'm gonna cut it right here. I got my official cutters. Um, they work. We're gonna put those. You can't see anything. Torch. Oh man, that works so good. Uh, let's pull that away. Yeah, get it in the cutty cutty position. Oh shit, this is gonna leak. It's gonna leak, so I'm gonna cut it and then bend it up. Like that. Boom. And then when we come out, when we're ready to get out the other side, we'll bend it back and pull it through. Um, should essentially well, we're caught up. Oh, there we go. I bent her. Oh, look at that. Um, a word of caution make sure you're not getting any, uh, any any brake fluid on your good paint here um, it will eat it immediately uh, make sure you uh, definitely 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 get some water on that um, really wash it out it's just a, a good word of caution to get that corrected uh, now we're gonna go up and, and disconnect it there somehow and then pull it through and then we're on to and we're on to actually replacing it. So, so I just grabbed a crescent wrench. Yeah, it would be lying there. And, uh, and yeah, seemed to work pretty good. Oh, my torch isn't on again. Gosh darn it. Boop. Oh, let there be light. Oh my goodness. Why? You're so stubborn, screen. Let's see, what's this wavy hand thing? Stabilize motion. Oh, that's, I bet you that's helpful. Alright, let's grab this. Let's see if it works. Oh my goodness. I almost dropped you. Alright, let's see if it works. Oh! Oh, that was, that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Look at that. That worked. See? First try. So I think it's gonna break the line though, to be honest. And that's okay. 
because we're putting a new one on. And all the boats that I'm breaking, you don't need because I bought the kit. This is real exciting. Oh, look at the bolt. No, look at his hand. Look at the bolt. No, look at his hand. Just flip it over here. There you go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we had a falling out. <laughs> oh, see what I did there? So, while we're sitting here, got a good dad joke for you. Uh, what's brown and sticky? It's a stick. <laughs> a stick. Yep, that's brought to you by Scotty McGovern. What a great guy there. This, this bolt goes forever. We're traders of the of the craft. The dad joke craft. If you got any more, any good ones that I haven't heard, go right ahead and pop them down in the in the comments for me. That'd be great. That's just all over the place. Oh, oh, it's out. Bam, bam. Oh, it's leaking bad. It's, uh, it's just chopped up, right? Oh, we already talked about the leaking part, right? <laughs> all right, let's see if we can get it out of there. Um, I do remember snipping it. So it would come out of there. Come, why are you so mad at me? Oh, we could have been friends. Oh, there we go. Just, just the right angle, apparently. <laughs> Get it? Right angle. <laughs> Another dad joke. Um, yeah, that's out. Wow, we did it. Got the whole line out. Make sure you take the crescent wrench out once you're done. Or you're going to forget it and drive down the road with it. Eventually, it's going to fall out. And you're going to be like, what the heck was that noise? You'll never know what happened. All right, let's go get the uh, get the get the line. That's exciting. So you can see, I bought the kit for it. Um, pretty sure I got this one on J Bugs. I I I alternate. I don't really know why. I just feel like I should be spreading the love of money um, around on J Bugs and Wolf Wolfsburg West and. That's pretty much the only places I get my stuff from. I do do O'Reilly's as well. They usually have like um, the important stuff like master cylinders and things like that. Um, so I'm going to get this opened up. We're going to take a look at which ones we need. And uh, I'll get some, hopefully some good pointers for you. And uh, we can get it started. So we can go over a few things. Um, so the longest one here, you can see, wraps around, wraps around, all the way down. Um, that's going to be the one that we're going to be using for that. Um, and then the one that goes over, uh, to the passenger side brake, um, has a little hump there. We're actually going to kind of follow this and figure out which one is the right size to go to that one. Uh, but I do know the longest one is the, uh, next to your, next to your tube. Um, and that's how it just goes. Uh, you can see that they're already flared. Got there. Doop. You can see they're already flared for you. 
um, which is good. Uh, again, if you want, you can get your own um, and do it all yourself. If you already have the flaring tool and everything like that, uh, the nut's already on there for you. Um, make sure that you put the nut on before you flare it, or you're going to be cutting it again and then putting the nut back on. Dun, 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 dun. Um, and then along with this kit, this is what, uh, these, <laughs> yeah, I turned German. Uh, this is what you call, uh, they're doubled. Uh, it's, it's like a double tubing. So the outside of the tube is not actually the brake line. There's an inner tube to it. Um, and this is to help um, with the bending. So you're going to get a lot less kinking because you're bending the outside pipe um, with it. So a lot less kinking. This doesn't mean that you can go at it and, <coughs> and, and do whatever you want with it. You still got to be nice and careful and easy and slow and, and make sure that, you know, all your, all your bends are nice and, and flowing. Uh, you know, right angles aren't, aren't your best friend on this. So make sure that when you, when you do get them out and get them bended to where you need it, uh, you're doing it the, the right way and not the, um, let's just take it out and go, you know, it's not a chicken neck. Ooh, so close to, so close to turkey day. I'm so hungry. Um, so let's get that out of the, out of there. Uh, so I'm not using all of them, so make sure you just use the, keep on the little uh, red tabs. I'm actually going to put this back on. Uh, boop, because... I like I like safety first, you know, on some things, things that save my time. Boop. There we go. All right, so <laughs> no, that'll be really easy to take out there. Yeah, let's just. Oh my god! All right, it's not Fort Knox, okay? I just want the brake line. There's another one! This is rude! Where is it? Don't, don't pick on me. I did the highlight books. I know where it is. I can follow the line. Oh, man! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, so again, um, we're gonna straighten this out. I'm actually gonna set you up. And then I'm going to straighten it out, show you kind of how, how nice and easy you got to be with it. You don't want to be crazy. Um, so let's get that, that all settled. I'll take you over here mm -mm, to my already makeshift tripod here. Uh, because when you start a channel, you got to make sure you don't have any of the equipment. That's, that's the first rule of uh, Fight Club. I mean, YouTube. Uh, how do I look? <laughs> Like a freaking star, that's how I look. <laughs> I'm gonna bend half of it. I just kinda wanna show you guys, like, it's, it's easy, but you, you gotta be nice to it. You know, you gotta, a little bit at a time, just where your hand is, kinda where it's gonna bend. You wanna keep your thumb nice and, nice and there. You don't wanna get crazy with it. Cause, again, you don't want those kinks in it. So, you want to kind of just slow and steady wins the race here. I'm gonna call that close. All right, let's go inside and see if we can wiggle that in there. Yeah, you can see why we stretch it out. We're gonna we're gonna feed it 
in through wherever, wherever it was, right here, little little KGTH in, um, and then right through there. Torch is off again. Man, so much light. I have to be my own lighting guy. Oh, wait. Oh, man, I got my knee saver. My wife. My wife saved my knee saver. Nice angry. Oh, we, we hit the tab. Where am I back? She's angry at me. Pull that back a little. What happens to anybody else? But I keep getting locked in right there. See that? Keeps, keeps just finding that spot. Look at this, see? Um, so just be careful. Um, Cause it's, you don't have to snap and then have to wait another week to get, get a new line or actually have to do it yourself without, with flaring it and everything. Um, that's just, that's just, anyway, let's see how we did it out here. Oh man, I'm, I'm there. Look at that. I think I've done it before. Yeah. Okay. A little bendy bendy there and then it's, that's going to go right on. That is exciting. Um, I don't know if you saw, but earlier I had to take the grommet off because the nut and bolt, or the nut, or whatever you want to call it, wouldn't fit through it. So what I'm going to do, um, here's the grommet. It's pretty, it's not very squishy. I'm going to take one of my other ones. I'm actually going to cut right there, slip it on and put it in and that should work just fine. They don't have to be whole. Got a little cut in them and push it through. It should be just fine. Um, so that's exciting there. I'm not actually gonna hook that up because I wanna be able to have some, some area to move that all the way in so this can then go in while I'm bending it. Because um, obviously you can see tracking. What are you looking at? Oh, you can see the bend's pretty big. And we're already right almost there. Um, so I'm actually gonna push this in some more and then straighten that out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna put you down for this. Hopefully I explained it in a way that made sense to you. Um, again, I just don't have a way to show you exactly what I'm doing and I need way more than two hands I mean more than one hand so if uh, anybody has three hands I, I'd like to meet you I had some things to do and uh, I decided to wait till much later when it was 20 degrees colder because I just felt like I need more of a challenge because um, this this was just getting too easy so I was thinking in my three hour break to wait till it was 20 below. Um, when I get this through right here, it's gonna go through there and I'm gonna need to know how much room to the actual master cylinder I'm gonna need. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the master cylinder in um, first. Yeah, first, because then I'll know that'll go in there. We'll be able to tighten it in. Because uh, some of the videos I've seen, um, these lines are usually like a scooch. If I had two hands, one would be over here, one in this one. A scooch too long. They're usually pretty too long. You got to put some S's in them and uh, move them along. So I'm wondering if I should put the S, a little one right there. And then one on the, like you can see through the car, and one on the other side. Um, I'm just, I'm just wondering if that's, that's what we should do. Cause right now we got a bunch. We got a bunch heading over there, right here. You can see it. And now, and right there is where it goes. So we're not gonna have a ton of room right here to bring it. So I think this one's probably gonna go straight in. And then the one in the front, it's actually gonna be, I have to be asked if it's needed. If it's needed. 
So, if you remember, we were already doing that fun stuff. Um, goes right there. So, I'm gonna go get an actual master cylinder right here. Still plugged up. It leaked a little bit more. I don't think it was a ton. You can see there's a little drop and drop right there. It's not bad though. Um, it's still really, really good. Um, so I'm going to pop it out of there and we're going to, we're going to scotch it in. We're going to get those two bolts on there. Oh, um, when I took it out, I didn't show you guys. I just kind of took it out because you know my problem with getting really excited and then, um, just doing, just, just going early. You can see there's an inner hole here inside this. Oop. And right, come on. See that little little thing sticking out? Looks like a little half moon in that. That's actually a tube that goes through there. And when let's come back around here. When you're taking it out, there's a couple ways to do it. See how I left it in there? I left it in there because that tube sometimes doesn't want to come out. But it's stuck right there. It's stuck in there. If you pull the bolts out without that tube coming out, it drops in behind there. You can almost see it. Right there. That's where the tube is. So you pull the bolt out, and that tube goes bloop. And then it's gone forever. I don't really know where it goes. There might be a way to get it, but um, I wasn't going to take that. I'm not going to take that chance, to be honest. Um, yeah, so. I've known this to be a two-man job. Just because when we put the master cylinder in, it's got to somehow stay there. So we're going to try to... That... Sorry. Um, that trick never works. My wife is putting someone to bed. Um, not in the biblical sense. In the, uh, we decided to have children so we could ruin our lives and have zero time to do any of this. That's why I got to wait three hours till it was 20 below out. And, um, a lot less lighting because the garage doors can't open. So, I'm going to see if I can put it in there. Maybe wedge something to make it stick. Um, let me go get it and put it in there and see what happens. All right. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. almost forgot to show you guys the tube. Oh, that's the little tube I was talking about. I was able to get that one out. If I can get them out, I'll pull them because I like to feel safe and lovey-dovey without it kind of sitting in there funny. Um, yeah, I just enjoy it being out. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me go, let me go snag a lag on this, this thing and see if I can set you up in a good spot so you can see what I'm doing. Unlikely, I really need a tripod. Amazon just send me one already. Gosh. So I figured, since I'm not going to have a lot of space in there, I'll put on the, uh, put on the sensor. Um right now uh, basically oh you got what are you an 1100 million i don't even know how i got it i could have swore it was a 17 you guys remember what it was do i have anything bigger in here oh the 22 is sticking out that could be a sign let's go right righty that way okay Oh, look at that. That's that's about perfect. So if you guys uh, remember, um, I took that off. <laughs> um, so the idea is to take the plug off as fast as possible. Well, take the plug off and then replace it as fast as possible. And that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to tighten this up nice and nice. And nice. nice and nice. Thank you. 
Oh, toy. Oh, man. Come on, Vice. Vice is getting a little angry. Because now this is getting tight. Maybe I'll have to tighten it. I need seven other hands. Uh, how do I? I don't even know. Can you? That's not helpful. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Remember that tripod I was talking about? Amazon is slow. I should have started this three weeks later. Oh, I got a little more. I can make. What do you think? A little bit more? We can tighten it when we get in there. Oh, a factory setting. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright, um, how do I grab this? And elbow, elbow, oh yeah. Well, that trick didn't work. Shut you off here. Bink. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, that's not the side going in. Oh, hey, lighting guy. Didn't mess up this time. <laughs> right in there. Oh, see that? Stick your tube right in. Just like that. This, You're in the way, bro. There we go. And just like that. So somehow I'm going to put a block under it. And then another block securing it there because obviously I can't put the thing in. Maybe I just need to be nice about it and put a block under it. And that that would work. Pretty thick one too. Maybe a two two by fours or two by four and a one by six. You know, all the weird crap I got around this garage. It's gotta be something. Well this has got about a two point three percent chance to work. Borrowed one of my uh, child's ex excavating tools. Um, a lot of sand with that shovel. Uh, she does a pretty good job. And I used it kind of as a wedge to kind of lift it to where I need it. There's still a little. Oh, come on, cameraman. Cameraman. I'm the cameraman. Come on, lighting guy. Oh, in the way. You see a little gappage right there, but I'm hoping that the um, that the bolt's long enough to kind of catch it. It's, it's not going to work. Well, let's try to do it the fast way and we'll do it this way. If that doesn't work, um, we'll hope and pray another way. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Apparently the lighting guy didn't want to follow me. He's terrible. I've decided to use the hardest one on the inside. That's not going to work. Oh. Where is the damn lighting guy? Oh my gosh. I need 17, 1100 of these things. He's the worst. Oh, that's, look at that lighting. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. See everything. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that thing I was showing off with. I probably lost because I was showing you guys. There it is. All right. All right, okay. Oh. Can, can you see okay? Can you see all right? I can't. There you go. Put you right there. This probably isn't going to work. Ooh, by the way, there's a lock nut on it. This doesn't have a lock nut. I see this one. All right. Come on. I hope two things through. Two things through it again. I feel no friction. That probably isn't working. I don't feel anything. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's go back. Push on it a little more. Ah. Apparently, hope and pray doesn't work. Pretty sure there's a lot of the educators out there that tell you the same thing. Oh, I just pushed it. It was, see, it's a little more. 
Oh, lighting guy didn't follow me. Notice. I'm using the torch right on this thing. I did the old switcheroonie. Put the wedge on the bottom and the uh, wood on the top. Because, um, yeah, maybe that's what's wrong with it. We're going to... It looks a little tighter. We're going to try... We're going to do it again. Here we go. You know, because uh, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. <clears throat> Where's my knee saver? Well, I know she wasn't doing gardening. Oh. Yeah, lighting guy stayed in here. <sighs> Just nice and easy. Ah! Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a dead spider. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm, did, did I get it? Oh, I got it! Guess what, everybody? First try. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Yep, got it. All right. I think this one I'm going. I don't even know if it's lined up. Even, I'm not even close to the hole on the on the other side. Break out. Oh, there we go. Break out through, through the other side. Oh, I think that's a copyright thing. Oh, there we go. I was just saying that because it's got two sides. I think I got it in there. I don't know how that happened. All right. So, if you think you need somebody, you don't. If she says she needs you, she probably doesn't. Um, that looks way better. Looks like we actually have something there. That went all the way down. That's probably not good. All right, let's go. Oh, I squished it already, too. It's a, it's a triangle. I probably shouldn't have done that. We'll leak some more in it, huh? Oh, yeah, just ran right out. Ah! Dropped you. Just do that a little tighter. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. All right, so, oh yeah, look right down there. Um, that, that way it'll drop on my, uh, drop on my thing instead. So now we're gonna feed tracking. There's a hole here, dear Liza, right there, right there. All right, so we're gonna feed it here, and it connects into this one right there. This is the S I'm talking about. If it gets too much, I'm gonna have to go. Maybe around this, Whoop. and then back, depending, or over here, and then around to that. Um, just depends on how much I get out of there. Hey guys, my wife's been out here 17, 18 times, and she's told me each time I gotta come in for dinner, and I tell her what she always tells me, I'll be in a minute. Well, it's been a lot of minutes, and I gotta go in. I'm hungry. You don't get this big guy just sitting around. Well, if anybody's been enjoying No Shave November, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm looking grizzly. I'm, I don't want to say it yet, but by the end, <laughs> I'm going to be a man of the wild. I'm going to blend in with my surroundings. So we're going to have to call this. We're done. It's going to be a twofer. We'll finish it up. Don't worry. When it comes time, there'll be a link down below. And you can just click on that and poof, the next video comes up. So we'll see you then.